so team welcome to infosec train so today we will be discussing about a workshop or webinar on cloud security interview preparation and just before i start team i just want to give you an introduction about myself my name is krish i am i'll be the speaker for this particular webinar and i'm a consultant i'm an enterprise cloud architect who basically consult for various companies worldwide uh, and uh, having more than uh, 18 plus years experience on information security and cloud computing and for more information you can visit my linkedin profile team so let's begin so first of all team in this particular session we are planning to discuss about a few few things or few key points we have to understand while preparing for a cloud security job role or what are the key factors we have to keep keep in mind while preparing for an interview or some sample job descriptions and some sample interview questions this is the agenda for this team and first of all let's start with the prerequisites before we go to the cloud platform so this is something which i have uh, uh, explained in many webinars previously also team just to give you a heads up just to give you a start when talking about a cloud okay so any person who want to learn cloud computing or any person who basically want to learn the uh, cloud architecture okay uh, what we do is the team we basically have to have these skills as the primary this is a very important key factor to understand so first of all team for any person who want to start with cloud computing this is a primary skill they must have they must have a networking concept knowledge in fact i am what i am telling is that it's not about having a lot of knowledge in networking but you must be well aware of the networking concepts like uh, the concepts of uh, this reference OSA reference model or kind of reference models ip addressing basics of network devices and all these things are very important knowledge you can have before you go to the cloud platform then of course team at least one operating system knowledge will be always good for you this is something which i say in every session because uh, whenever a person go for a cloud computing job role whether you're a cloud developer or cloud security architect or cloud specialist or aws administrator or azure administrator or any job role you can think about it is good to have a knowledge in the operating systems like Linux operating systems or basic Linux commands or the Windows concepts these are very important for you to have and the third thing is that team this is a mandatory skill for everyone so I will tell you an example why this particular skill is mandatory for everyone here let's suppose that team I am now going to a cloud computing job role let's say I'm a developer so team why a developer has to learn security because you know if they want to develop a secure application if you want to if they want to deploy something in a IaaS or pass or SaaS model something like that they must be having a well awareness or they must be having some critical understanding of the cloud security concepts that is a very important thing we must have team cloud security is a very critical skill that everyone must have when you basically go to a cloud computing because it's not about the job role whether if you're a cloud architect or cloud security specialist or even if you are a, a cloud enterprise architect or you're a security specialist or you're a developer or you're a devsecops guy you're a devops guy so whatever it is this is a mandatory skill for everyone and finally we must always have a basic understanding of the programming and scripting so this is a common question which i always get like i say like i said before also whenever we talk about the programming and scripting knowledge why this is so important to us team or why this is so important to us i'll give an example now whenever i will show you a lot of job samples in the upcoming slides i'll show you some job samples in every job samples you get you can check every job rules every job samples they will ask you do you have a basic programming or scripting knowledge why it's like that the reason is why because team in every company nowadays automation plays a key role automation plays a key role i'll give an example team uh, i know that uh, out of all these people who is basically in this meeting almost 90 percent people is working in some kind of mncs right out of these people team how many organizations follow agile model how many organizations follow agile model see a lot of companies right a lot of companies are following the agile model and for agile to enable agile what we use team we use the devops right so anyway for devops also for uh, devsecops also for development also for automation of security also for everything it is mandatory nowadays to have a programming 
or scripting knowledge but i'm not i'm saying is that as i as i always say in my sessions it's never mandatory for you to have a very deeper knowledge of everything but good to learn things like json now python is a very important skill which you have which they will ask you in everything okay so you must have the basic knowledge of at least one programming or scripting language this is the key prerequisites for learning cloud computing but of course i will tell you just in case if you have some concern regarding this how to learn json or how to learn python you can always approach me i will tell you the proper path for that it's completely fine so this is the basic skill set required for any person who want to learn with cloud computing definitely terraform ansible and all the other things come after this for sure that is specific to the job roles of course now now the golden question that everybody is asking us do we have to really get certifications this is a very very common question right do we have to get certifications for cloud either if you want to apply for a cloud security job role or if you, if you want to apply for a uh, an enterprise cloud architect or security sme or any job roles do you have to have a certification so krish i am a manager who is working in a company so as a manager do i have to have a certification or as a security architect do i have to have a certification team as i always say in every session i am telling you it is not mandatory that you have a certification but when you enter the job market when you first apply for a job or when you basically apply for a job which is having a lot of demand when you have a certification there when you have the proper valid certifications there that will always increase your value that will be easy for them to you know have a primary selection ground that's why certifications are always important it's not like you have to go through a lot of certifications but certifications play a key role okay and you have to choose the certification very wisely based on what job role you want to approach like for example aws is not okay for everyone or azure is not okay for everyone ccsp is not okay for everyone uh, ccak is not okay for everyone gcp is not okay for everyone so the job role you have to first of all focus on your job roles and based on that we have a lot of certifications in the market you can find more than 300 certifications in the real time market now so like this there are a lot of certifications you will see in the market so what we have to do is the team we have to figure out which is the best certifications you must need for that particular job role you're planning for and out of that you can apply for the proper things for example let's say if you are a person who want to work specifically in uh, aws security you can go for the aws certified security specialty if you want to go for a uh, azure certification you can go for the az 500 google also having a certification for that ccsp is there so you have to use certifications wisely it's very important to have at least one cloud certification which is relevant to your job role okay so that is the primary thing team i want to give you a introduction before we start the process of on discussing about the cloud security job role okay so when you say the word cloud security team when you say the word cloud security what do you mean by that that is the first thing which i want you to tell you when you say cloud security what do you have to understand by that so we are whenever we are working as a part of our organization like any organization okay let it be a uh, company a company b company c any company whenever you want to apply for an organization whenever you want to even whenever you work as a part of a organization it is mandatory for you okay it is mandatory for you to have a, a knowledge of the specific technologies used by that company those security te technologies used by the company for example now your company is telling you to deploy a aws infrastructure or azure infrastructure or let's say if you are a senior guy and you have you're managing a team let's suppose your company is telling you to basically manage a team of professionals for security and compliance for any reasons like this for any reasons like this security plays a key role securing the whole cloud deployment for the organization securing the whole cloud architecture deployment operations compliance for the organization is what we mean by the cloud security right this is the primary thing and there is a lot of certification you can choose from and you can choose always based on your job roles or what you're planning to uh, look into in the near future this is the introduction i want to tell you team anyway a person who is working in the global governance risk and compliance will be having these prerequisites by default means even if this we can let's say the the fourth one may not be there but still that can, that is manageable but definitely the people who is basically going for grc will be having a knowledge on these particular things at least in the minimum level and definitely they will be good in this also 
for sure so mm-hmm. what we have to do is the team when you are a person who is moving or let's suppose you are a person who is moving from grc or risk mm-hmm. management to the cloud platform the same job role the same risk management approach you can do in the cloud as well but provided for that even if you are a manager guy the primary thing is that it is mandatory to have one cloud platform knowledge i 100% repeat that always team if you want to become a cloud professional or if you want to be a manager or if you want to be a manager team team of cloud or if you want to govern the whole enterprise cloud operations it is mandatory to have a knowledge on at least one cloud platform like aws azure gcp alibaba ibm let it be anything so why i say anyone the reason is because let's suppose team i am a person who studied okay i am a person who studied uh, aws um, aws completely from the beginning okay using the same thing i was able to get my skills on azure i was able to get my skills on many other cloud platforms by myself when i was working in that com- multiple companies okay so because what happens team the primary thing is that you must have one cloud certification for sure one cloud platform knowledge and certification is good then if you want to like as you are from the risk management approach and all it is definitely important to have a management visibility of the things like you must have a management and governance point of knowledge or governance visibility point must be there for for that you can either go for after the cloud platform certification you can go for either ccsp or ccsk or ccsc like this so this gives you a more aspect on a governance or management perspective this is the primary thing i always recommend for people to start with the cloud platform if you are from the G- grc risk or security background so team the next one okay the next is that you may be asking so krish uh, do we have to pre- uh, is resume important or resume or cv important so my point is that team definitely nowadays companies don't uh, promote going for some thousands of resumes or a massive book like resumes and all but one one why i added this in this particular webinar is that team this is a mistake i have seen because many people getting rejected for this whenever i have seen many people tell me and say that krish i have gone to a cloud interview and i my my cv was not considered i was sending uh, cvs and resumes to multiple companies uh, and nobody is looking into it or nobody is basically calling me for a job role or interview so first of all means i'll come to the reason why but first of this is what i feel team like you can you can always uh, give your input also see first of all team when you say resume okay this is like you know a one to two page thing it's a just a very precise thing it is a document which presents your key skills like professional experience or base educational background your basic skills that's a thing okay that is what we call as resume on to the point document it is not more than one or two pages and we have a cv like i am a experienced person so i have to describe my whole company previous job roles and all i want to tell them my expertise for that you can go for curriculum vitae what is curriculum vitae it means that you know like it means course of life or you know it's a latin word actually so it gives a, it is a more detailed document okay like for example if you go for some companies you can you can either have any of these things no problem but the only concern i am having is the team whenever you go job for go for a job role be specific about your skill this is my always i want to tell you team be specific about what you are looking for and what is your skill like for example so i was i was having a linux background i was having a network security background i was having a, a hardware background so that doesn't make sense if i am applying for a cloud security job that is good to have but i don't have to focus on that okay so always be specific in your resume be specific about what is your primary skills on that tech thing you are applying like i am sure that you as a as a cloud professional or as a cloud expert you will never apply for a job of a chef because the skills you primarily have is what you have to apply for let's suppose that you are you are a cloud security professional or you you want to apply a job for a cloud security in that point you make your resume specific to the skills you have in the cloud security okay you always prepare a resume or cv which is based on your cloud security because if i add a lot of more skills or different different skills on that we always think okay okay that that by seeing that skills the the hr will be more impressed it's not about impression it makes a wrong impression there when you make when you basically make hundreds of skills in your resume and cv what basically happens to the team the person will think that you are not definitely a person who know at least up onto the points they will always think you as a you know multi tier guys it's not something which we need so be specific your skills is the first thing be specific second thing is that 
mention whatever projects or whatever things you have done in the cloud platform now that's a common question i'm always getting so krish i want to join the cloud or i want to basically learn the I, i'm a, just a fresher in cloud you may be having other experience but you are a fresher in cloud so as a fresher in cloud how do i basically mention my projects or how do i mention my skills because i am a fresher so for that team the only way is that you do some projects by yourself you make your own project you can get a lot of projects in the internet you can find some hundreds of project in the internet from multiple websites take some multiple projects and implement it end to end by yourself and make a document out of it so that will basically give you a more confidence to you know explain to the interviewer about what all things you have designed or what all things you have done you can clearly tell them i have not worked in real time project but i have these skills i have implemented this kind of architecture so make some projects and that must be included in the the document the third thing is that okay first is always be specific that is a very important thing second thing is that specifically add the projects you have worked with means which is more to this cloud platform and of course certifications matters so just mention your certification like you don't have to write a story about that just mention your certifications and always make sure those things you have mentioning is valid okay these are the key things you have to mention in your resume or cv first you can basically mention your you know like work preferences what all specific skills skills, skills that you are having and team one more request please do not write so i have seen every resume this is the mistake we are making when when the interviewer sees this means if i am the interviewer i will there is a less chance i will select you on that for example don't write ec2 don't write s3 don't write uh, azure vms don't write ebs volume don't write uh, elastic ap don't write like this this is just a broken thing this doesn't make any sense write down it as a project you have done in a multi tier architecture don't spec don't simply write down the name of services only write down what you have done so okay so that increases the confidence of the interviewer or the hr who is basically planning for the interview these three things are very important be specific on your resume team second thing is that uh, write down your projects in a very precise and simple way just write down what exactly you have done you can explain further if you want on the interview the third thing is that if you have some specific skills on something mention that in a very clear way if that is relevant to the job role these are the three points i just want to specify rest you can basically get from the internet team you can basically search the internet you will find a lot of samples and you can use that so team any concerns or queries on this anything on this team this is a very important part because this is what the first step in entering for an interview it means you know the 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 one primary point i want to tell everyone when you basically want to apply for a cloud security job role they will never see you first the first thing they will see is your resume or cv this is the first thing they will see so because of that thing how much precise it's not about lengthy number of pages or you make a encyclopedia out of it you just make a very simple thing but specific specify the points and linkedin linkedin profiles and all the things which is relevant to the particular job role okay and what all things are your specific skills and all these things you have to mention as i mentioned the three things i told you it's very important for us the next thing is that so once you prepare a proper resume or cv or all these kind of things and you apply for a job role so krish can you basically give me how the job roles will look like team the first thing is that i have seen many people tell me so krish in this the my first interview was very easy my second interview was very tough my third interview was entirely different so team when you basically see a in job role called as cloud security architect okay let's suppose that you are seeing a job role called as a cloud security architect do you think you will see the same job description every time when you see a profile called as a cloud security architect do you see the same job description every time so sometimes you will see entirely different sometimes you will see entirely different entirely different that is a very important thing but i will tell you some specific factors you must have a good awareness as a security professional as a cloud security professional or a cloud security architect or if you are working in cloud security there are certain things you must be concerned about or you must be having at least a basic knowledge in trust me team these things are something which you need a very basic knowledge for sure either if you do aws certification azure certification ccsp cisp uh, or gcp ibm anything you can do 
but if, regarding these things i always say you need a decent amount of knowledge because you know whatever you are going to get and get in your job role or whatever you are you're going to do in your job role basically all these things will come in picture there first of all team is the cloud suitable for my business see whenever you are suggesting a solution for a business and if it's not specifically suitable for that business you read the use cases on what is the best service for each of them okay you can get a lot of hundreds of use cases in the internet regarding what all best uh, solutions are there for each companies so that is one thing we have to understand and you must have a very good understanding or at least a basic level understanding of the key certifications and standards in the cloud platform like when you go to a cloud platform you have a certifications from the csa you have a certifications from the uh, you know AI, SOC AICPA. You have a certification for HIPAA, GDPR. Then uh, then we have a ISO certifications. So there is a lot of things like this. So if you have an understanding of the concerns or key factors in these certifications, it will be always a very interesting thing for you. It's very important thing for you to understand. And obviously a very good knowledge on various cloud provider services and features so this is one question that every every students ask me on this so krish i am now going for a aws job interview so the company says that aws cloud security architect or aws security engineer so do i have to know azure or do i have to know gcp i will say yes do you have any guarantee that this company will stay in aws for next 10 years or do you have any guarantee that this company will stay in Azure for next five years? No, right? The company can always change. The company can adapt new solutions. The company can always go for multi cloud strategy. So what happens team if you have a decent knowledge on various cloud provider services, that is a good thing. Like for example, in AWS, we have something called as a instances. In Azure, we have something called as a Azure VMs in DigitalOcean. The same thing is called as droplets. So like this just know the names and simple features of each of the cloud platform. That is a very good thing to understand And the next thing is the team data security This is a mandatory must-have skill for any person who is working in cloud security If you want to get a job in cloud security team, this is a mandatory skill. I will say this is a mandatory skill Because at the end of the day company storing data in the cloud platform and Whatever security job roles you're working you have to touch the data you have to handle the data so securing the data based on compliance regulatory and all the factors or the business requirements is a very important thing for you to understand and then location team does location plays a very important role when you're storing data and all does location play a very important role when you store data somewhere when you store the data in some cloud providers you must exactly know where your data is residing because if you don't know where your data is residing residing it can make a lot of challenge for the business for compliance for regulatory challenges a lot of things are there i'll give an example team now we have a google drive we know that there's a google drive so you you know that no enterprises will use google drive for storing their critical business data for which, which is having some uh, regulatory, regulatory baselines right the reason is because this there is no location preference here okay so location plays a very so these things you have to be well aware of and most importantly you must be aware of the concept of contracts and slas so why it is important to us team i'll give an example now let's suppose you are a, you are working as a part of a business team if something happens to your business like for example let's say now i am running a i am running a business okay i am running a business uh, and I'm having a lot of customers in my business. There's a lot of customers in my business and this business is hosting things on Azure Okay, there is a business we are having and all this business is storing something in Azure So team tomorrow if Azure make a mistake The customers will basically ask the business or Azure Your customers will ask the business or Azure They will ask the business right They will always ask the company right? So what happens at the end of the day if there, there is an issue happens if there is a data leakage happens whose reputation is damaged the company's reputation is damaged right 
so the company want to have an assurance on very various factors like the company want to have an assurance on availability security uh, business continuity a lot of other factors so the only way the legal requirements we can legally have a guarantee for all these things is to have a proper contracts and SLAs. okay then there is a factor called as cost so Krish, I'm go I'm looking for a cloud security job role as a cloud security architect or cloud security job role is cost my concern. Yes, you must be good in the costing part as well. Let me give an example team. Let's suppose that in AWS. Okay, we have a solution called as a AWS shield. Okay, we have a solution called as a AWS shield. It's a DDoS protection solution. And the starting cost of AWS shield advanced is 3000 US dollar plus tax or plus extra. Okay, so now we have a company who is basically having a monthly turnover of 5000 US dollars. Team, will they go for this solution? Can they go for the solution? No, right? The security must be affordable as well. Security must be affordable as well, right? That's a very important point. So you must be able to figure out the costing part of the solutions and figure out the more cost effective solutions as well. So like for example tomorrow I'm saying I'm planning to buy a car So Krish, go buy a Lambo Lamborghini. It's not like that, right? We have to consider how much cost we are able to spend how much cost we are able to uh, Use for security requirements. What is the maximum limit within this limit? Will I be able to meet my business requirements? So costing is a very important part then of course team you must know the concepts of migration interoperability and portability like interoperability is the biggest concern team because when you have a multiple cloud providers you must be able to collaborate with them like for example let's say now when i'm i'm going for a, as let's suppose i'm going for a sim tool sim tool team what is a sim tool right security information and event management tool yeah. this is a very important tool we have for analyzing log files and identifying security incidents so if i'm having a sim tool then when I'm having multiple cloud providers like let's let's suppose I'm using AWS. I'm using Azure. I'm using GCP, etc There must be a tool like this which is able to communicate to all the providers without any issue That is what we call as interoperability that must be there I must be able to move on to a different provider. So you must be having a knowledge on these solutions as well and finally Dependencies and partnership like for example when you go for a cloud platform when you work as a part of a business What all dependencies they will be having to different vendors and how, how they are basically what is the benefits of being a partner of a particular organization? These are just good to have skills team But anyway team if you want to get a job in cloud security these things are very important for you Okay, these are some basic skills which you need for in your cloud in when you want to get a job in cloud security like this is a extra skills you need for sure is cloud suitable for business? What are the common certifications in the cloud platform? Because if you are a cloud security professional or if you are a security professional at some point of time you have to deal with the compliance Then various services and features like for example, there is a lot of cases I will tell you for example, there is a lot of customers who ask me so Krish you, we are having a solution in Azure called as Azure Sentinel If Azure Sentinel is basically not able to meet my requirements. What is the next stop? What is the next solution? I'm having if this is not able to meet my requirements I'm having an AWS inspector if AWS inspector is not able to meet my requirements What is the next solution we have so you must be able to compare and know various services and features? Right also data security is a very important thing and these other factors Most importantly you have to there is a few more things first of all I want to give you something called as job job descriptions because uh, when I we planned this webinar yesterday when yesterday when I got time I just googled regarding uh, Some cloud security job rules just you can find this job rules in the internet. It's active now I am seeing I have seen some common cloud security job rules Let's do one thing team. Let's walk walk through some three to four job rules and let's take the common things in all of them right so first let's let's do one thing Let's walk through the some job job descriptions. I am finding and then I will we will just specifically identify the key requirements there So so team let's make, make a pick and match That means that we'll have a pick and match like you know, uh, we will basically have a pick and match on uh, The key skills or the key job descriptions. I have figured out. Okay So I'm not going to uh, tell you what exa exactly is job description, but I am trying to get the 
key skills which i see in the see in this job descriptions okay that's it so first of first of all team this is the job role i saw yesterday in a in a job site security engineer cloud security and i have tried to remove all the pis as, as possible see this team as i said deep expertise in at least one public cloud first important thing as i told you before i have made a random search i have not done any keywords i have made a random search okay deep expertise in at least one public cloud you must have no a basic knowledge of you must have a good knowledge in any scripting language especially python second skill okay the third skill is that when going for a cloud okay so alerts automation of alerts you must know how to basically create the alert automation that is a very important thing then you must know I mean that is the next is collaboration so here we get, got some requirements called as one csp one public cloud okay you can write down if you want one public cloud i got okay then one programming language like python scripting language okay scripting language is very important then automatic monitoring and alerting so from this job role i feel these are the key things they wanted right let's take the next job role i'm just trying to show you some example job roles this is something which i found recently in yesterday afternoon in linkedin means linkedin in some other platforms actually so again the next job role cloud security architect remote now definitely see you must be having good knowledge in cloud linux and security ha huh. so we must always ensure that there is a security by design security by architecture security continuous improvement on security continuous scalability on security like based on your infra is growing all these things a continuous improvement for compliance that is what we call a security by scale so definitely let's pick this one again the same cloud platform thing os thing then that's all i guess there and again basic scripting is very important for sure that's it see everybody is asking a very simple job role means this is a difference i have seen the i don't know if you have noticed this team this is a difference i saw when i looked into some job roles some five years back i saw that they want everything in the world if you see a job role you will see thousands of things but now companies are specific companies tell you clearly what they exactly want they don't basically make a lot of assumptions they only specify what they want let me show you another job role so in this but this is a very mean again a cloud security specialist job role which i saw recently just a yesterday so team again at least one cloud platform team have you noticed this team in all the requirements i have showed you they are telling you at least one cloud platform any one cloud platform what is the reason i told you on that the reason why it's any one cloud platform is because they are sure that if they know at least one cloud platform or one one cloud knowledge obviously you can learn any other cloud platform by yourself within no time okay if they know at least one cloud platform knowledge obviously they can basically have a cloud knowledge in other platforms also that is one thing then see good knowledge in application security system security network security authentication authorization and cryptography team this is a very important thing i will add something to this iam is a key skill in every cloud job role every cloud security job role this is a key, key skill identity and access management is a key skill authentication authorization accountability federation this is a key skill which they will ask you again team they want you to basically have a good skills on you know various things like pcdss so doesn't mean that they want you to master all these things okay doesn't mean that these companies want you to master all these things you must know you must be aware of pcdss and how PC, pcdss can be accomplished in aws you must know gdpr and how this can be accomplished in aws like that then of course risk management concerns then again see identity and access management automation and this is a very new skill which i have seen in every job role infrastructure as a code this is a mandatory skill nowadays team trust me if you look into job roles if you take 10 job roles out of the 10 six job roles will always tell you you need a skill in at least one iac tool what is the infrastructure code to him you can write a code and using the code you can deploy your whole infrastructure like you have things like terraform uh, cloud formation etc means i always prefer to learn terraform because it's more vendor neutral 
right devops devsecopsy you can see that there is a lot of things common in every job roles so these are not from the same side okay these are from multiple things see again here also you must be knowing some cspms or cloud security postal management solutions again api security tools key management that's a key skill key management so like this team see good to have a cloud security certification so these are the key some job roles which i have seen team so i hope now you got a decent idea on what the job descriptions will look like nowadays so let's consolidate them together team from all these job roles i have showed you for the last five ten minutes see this is what i felt important correct me if i'm wrong team mandatory at least one cloud platform knowledge right every job role i have showed you now is telling me that and these are from different countries okay w whatever job roles i show you now is basically from different countries see everybody is saying knowledge in at least one cloud platform and this is mandatory you know definitely good good to have an understanding on the compliance and regulatory frameworks team this is a mandatory skill devops and devsecops don't worry i'll be discussing about devsecops in the upcoming lectures but still anyway this is a very important thing if you have some doubts on this you can always ping me team i can help you with that how to do or how to start this journey i can discuss with that no problem iam scripting enterprise network architecture so like this team there are some key skills which is basically mentioned in every job role okay this is the preparation part so we have discussed about resume or cv then we have discussed about various job roles and the common things in all of them okay now team like they are asking me that good to have a knowledge in uh, tools like cloud formation or chef for puppet team i don't know any of these things i only know terraform can i apply for this job role make because terraform is multi platform what do you feel any iac guys here i don't know cloud formation i don't know chef i don't know puppet i only know terraform the reason is that the reason is that team if you know terraform then it takes you maximum 2 or 3 days to get the skill on cloud formation see just an example i'm telling you so there are some skills like this which are always hot swappable or interchangeable or always upgradable so what they expect from you this is a mandate thing this is something you, you you cannot get from one day or one 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 week you have to get a very deeper knowledge on this so that is why i'm telling you team whenever you're applying for a job role don't worry about the job description or basically you know don't think about thousands of job job things you are there telling you be very clear with at least one cloud platform that is a primary thing so krish how do i get a job in cloud security learn one cloud platform first of all whatever you are what how much master you are learn one cloud platform let it be anything so i am a aws guy means i personally like aws a lot i also like azure as well but doesn't doesn't mean that this is a this is the best things learn any cloud anything is fine learn alibaba learn learn uh, digital ocean anything that is the first thing okay the second thing is that this is mandatory team because you're looking for a security job role you must know the very deeper concept security and if you know the concept of pen testing and basically you know the security documentation and all it's good this is also now marketing mandatory later but as of now it's fine but still many companies are using this to adopt for devops and all then this is a mandatory skill for sure this is a mandatory skill when you could talk about security and this also because in security nowadays every security depends on automation and for automation i i guarantee you team please learn python if you do want you can learn python doesn't mean you have to master python or you must be good in python just learn the python scripting specific to cloud you can find a lot of tutorials in the internet you can take 3 or 4 days to learn the complete things you need okay that's it so this is the key skills now team let's discuss about some common interview questions okay i'm just trying to discuss some common interview questions so team like whenever you go for an interview i always want to tell you trust me team i don't know if you have recently gone for any interviews but team did will anybody ask you what is easy to what is s3 what is ebs what is azure vm what is gcp uh, uh, containers will they ask you that team any companies will ask you in that way nowadays so what i personally felt is that team every companies will now ask you scenarios let's suppose they have a scenario like this how do you solve it what is the best solution everything they are asking you is a scenario because they know that 
you can get a lot of udemy videos you can get a lot of trainings and all at the end you know what is a service but are they are testing your skills on how are you able to apply that things and now i have seen many companies who give you a sample simulated environment to show your skills also anyway just an example question team how do you understand the security of a public cloud platform team when talking about the security of public cloud platform what is the first thing to know so team i will tell you primarily primary is that you have to tell them that whenever you go for a cloud public cloud platform there will always be a multi tenancy right you are basically using a shared infrastructure so because you are going for a shared infrastructure that is the biggest concern we have in the cloud platform primarily then like the the people said here the shared responsibility model shared responsibility model means to make it simple team you know i i am i say this in every batch i don't know if people uh, like this or not but i never think about ias or pass or sas i don't like to talk about ias platform pass platform and sas platform the reason is because you take a service more than thinking about whether it's an ias service or pass service or sas service you have to think about what is my responsibility in that what is the provider's responsibility that is a biggest difference between cloud and on premises right if you go for on premises everything is you and you only nobody else but if you go for a cloud platform there is a shared responsibility model like somebody said before there's a plug and play some things are there so for example now if i'm going for something called as a security groups in aws if i'm going for a web application firewall if i'm going for a s3 bucket what is my responsibility there what all things the provider will take care how do i ensure that if you go for amazon s3 what happens they will take care of replication so that uh, they they are basically having a proper resiliency but if you go for a uh, web application file or if you go for s3 the security is your responsibility so you have to explain to them about this multi tenancy share responsibility model then one very important concern in the public cloud platform is the team the public cloud is always a single point of failure if you don't architect it properly public cloud is a single point of failure guess how i'll give an example team let's suppose this is my aws console in the aws console i am deploying everything like my servers my storage my database everything in this aws account so tomorrow tomorrow if my account get compromised what will happen team tell me if an attacker is able to get the credentials of this particular account what will happen team so what will happen is the team when you basically go for this model what happens is that it will lose your data it will make a disaster why because team when you go for a cloud platform when this when you log into this console and basically go for this cloud platform what happens is that it makes a complete disaster if this is compromised so securing the infrastructure or securing the cloud platform access is a very important concern also you have in the when you go to a cloud platform so like this team you have to explain one by one the multi tenancy the shared responsibility model security uh, data security architecture then identity and access management management console access like this you can explain a lot of things regarding it but be precise to what you're expecting okay then the next one is the team what are the key factors we have to consider while storing enterprise data in the cloud platform number 1 definitely location explain about location then you can explain about what the security controls the secure various security and monitoring controls we are having explain about that then what we can explain their team anything else compliance compliance and data data retention right anything else team continuous monitoring see we can explain about these key factors when you basically go to a cloud data security clean incident management so the all these things preventive detective corrective you have to be able to explain all these concerns when going for a cloud platform storing data security data right so like this team like for example let's say now let's suppose i does ask me so uh, we have a concept of regions is it a very important factor for us so like this is a common question everybody will ask me i have seen many people ask me this so krish do we have to go for a multi zone failover or multi region failover in aws we have a con in azure we have a concept of regions and zones so that is purely based on the business requirements right so you must be able to explain this very clearly because the websites of aws azure etc has given a very beautiful definition of this so what happens 
you must have a very good understanding about the concepts on this cloud platform and the key bcdl factors and explain them regarding the requirements of it okay like this team you can get many exam many interview questions like they will not they will never ask you any on to the point question they will give you scenarios and the primary thing always you have to understand is the team you are the one who is driving the interview i repeat you are the one who is driving the interview that means what now they ask you a question from that you explain the points and from that they will start giving you more and more queries it's like a discussion now nobody will ask you like what is ec2 what is azure or what is aws etc they will give you scenarios they will give you various challenges let's suppose what happens if your database is compromised what will you do if your storage is compromised what will you do if your user account is compromised what is the process to immediately respond to it how do you automate the response for a waf waf attack in the waf like this then this is a common thing which i see in every interviews nowadays the whole process then there is many people even i have seen the whole interviews as driven in this process sometimes they will ask you how to implement devops or devsecops in the cloud platform like for example now we are aware of how to do devops in the on premises but how do we dev do devops in the cloud platform like what all cloud native tools we can use what all tools we can use extra or what all tools we have to integrate effectively to de deploy a pipeline so that is also a very important thing okay and this is for every interview this question i always see not even a single interview i miss this question what are some challenges you have faced in the cloud journey if you are having an experience in cloud or incident response something do you have you faced some challenges be prepared for this team this is a very important question be prepared for this they will ask you about a scenario or a key skill or key scenario which you have faced in your whole cloud career based on security okay you must be able to well explain what was the incident how did you manage it how did you make a preventive approach for it in the future so the problem management approach and all these things they will definitely ask you for sure okay like team we have a they will definitely ask you many questions like this and it's all about see i'll give an example team but how can we use in security is the key point i'll give an example team definitely this you can explain like if you if you just read for some time you will be able to explain but how can we use in security i'll give an example team see now in security we always have something called as automation automation that means that when you say automation when you say automation it means that you have to automatically respond to various security incident or various security alerts without a manual human intervention right so for that if you have a serverless infrastructure architecture knowledge you can write your own custom response scripts you can write your own custom act scripts on that and make sure you can respond to any kind of security incident. for example let's say now there is a web application firewall detecting a particular kind of attack okay in your infrastructure there is a web application firewall detecting a particular kind of attack so when there is a web application firewall detecting a kind of attack this can trigger a serverless function like lambda or baby azure functions it can trigger a serverless function what happens team this serverless function can basically block the ip address or maybe it can be run to uh, to do some mitigation activities like this for automation and security the serverless is a key skill because what happens whenever you go for a cloud platform if you if you uh, have a serverless concept knowledge in deeper you can respond to the incidents or resp respond to various security challenges within no time without a manual intervention that is why this is what we call as a trigger based activities so it's always trigger based or event based activities what happens whenever there is an event happens you can always trigger the function or code and based on that they will run in a cheaper and more automated perspective like this team you can find a lot of questions for the interviews when you go for a cloud security and be prepared for that so, you know it's all based on job role i always say but definitely prepare for questions which is more of a you know deployment type like we want to plan a solution for securing our infrastructure in aws what is the multiple tiers of controls you have to use we have a defense in depth approach right multi tier architecture what are the key controls we can use for a defense in depth approach in aws don't say only security you have a security group we have a web application firewall we have a ddos we have a aws shield we have a network acl we have a vpc firewall so we have multiple layers you must be able to explain 
how we can step by step secure something when talking about data security or when talking about secure logging what are the key factors we can keep in mind when talking about logging what are the key security aspects of logging so like this team be prepared for any of these questions and the best reference for all these things are the white papers given by the csps one is always the white papers which is basically taken by the csps given by the cs first thing and for specific services use documentations white papers are always very important then use documentations so team this is what we i'm just want to give you a heads up so always make sure team whenever you go for a cloud interview it's not about the simple you know on to the point what is a simple question they will definitely give you scenarios like for example when talking about when talking about cloud platform uh, let's suppose that we have something called a sim tool they will definitely give us on sim integration like for example let's say what is the sim tool which you have used in the cloud platform let's suppose in aws we have a guard duty so how do i basically make sure that this guard duty can be integrated with the on premises sim solution or how do i push my uh, cloud logs to the on premises sim, sim solution splunk or curator how do i do that what are the steps to apply that that's a very common question i have seen because in every companies we use various tools like splunk curator etc so how do i basically use that tools to integrate the log file from various cloud platforms and analyze security incidents yeah now they provide integration by default like if you feel like for example let's say if you want to know splunk very simple splunk integration in aws see you have a complete specific document there you have a complete document there which explains you how to do this splunk in aws like the same way there are many tools they help you to do a third party integration there is it clear so team always keep in mind watch out for these things and be updated if you want to pass a security interview be updated subscribe to the various update from the vendors and always watch out for this their new services new features that is the first thing for any interview okay so just to give you an overview this is what i want to discuss today just to give you an overview on this team